All right, I had to take my brother to LAX airport, so I'm down here near the airport at Dockweiler Beach. So uh, gonna get a little hunting in, and hopefully get some good finds. All right guys, this beach is very noisy because of the airport and very trashy because they allow fires on it. Man, I'm just struggling. Struggling, struggling, struggling. But I've got a little more time. I might have to change beaches. And then the signals are so bad. I am getting a uh, jumpy signal here. It's probably a quarter. We'll try it out. I've gotten a few tent stakes, believe it or not. Let's see if I got that this time. Hopefully full scoop. Yep. I'm just gonna try to shake this out. Yep, there it is. I'm getting some quarters that are, and then this piece of metal, a lot of metal, iron, because they burn stuff here. And uh, it's coming off the wood, so it's really a hard place to dig. Okay, Doc Wilder was absolutely disgusting. They have fire there, so I was really struggling with uh, all kinds of metal pieces, and uh, it was just horrible. So I moved over here to Manhattan Beach, and with the Strand, I'm gonna give this a try for a while. Maybe I'll have a little better luck, maybe not. But either way, I will hunt here for a couple hours. Hopefully, uh, I get at least one or good, one or two good finds. Well, so far I'm just getting a lot of garbage. So I got a signal here is jumpy. Hmm. Could be anything from a can to a car to... Might still be there, but I'm gonna still shake this one out because it could have been more than one target. Oh, that popped it right up on top. That's pretty talented. Got a quarter. Let's see what else we got here. I think that was it there. Let's just check the hole again. There's something there, but I'm gonna use both hands so I will get back on the camera if I find anything here. All right, so about five more shovel fulls and it turned out to be a small coin spill. And we get another two quarters and a dime out of here besides the other quarter. First decent find all day. Well, at least it's beautiful down here even though I'm not finding great stuff, but I do have. That to me sounds like something good. Jumpy car signal, and I am right. Oh, that's cool. El Segundo Police. Oh, nice. That's a cool find. Things are looking up a little bit. Hopefully I get something a little bit better than this. But I'll take toys all day long, as you guys all know. That's a nice one too. Yeah. Jumpy signal right here, five, six. Coming up differently the first time I hit it. Okay. We have a very interesting earring here. There's heavy uh, stones on it, but it's kind of weird. Well, just roaming around the beach. Nice houses up here. That'd be fun to be up there, just walk down every day. I'm getting a uh, pretty jumpy signal here, it's all over the place. That was going to be a penny at first, but that's too jumpy for a penny. Oh, let me put my stuff down. This is jewelry, but I hope it's good. Whoa! Keep it in here for a minute. What is this? Oh, it's a bracelet. Whoa, it's just probably bling, but look at this. Dang. Shiny. Finally, I got something kind of cool. That is really nice. I don't see. It just feels like it's a uh, bling. If that was gold, it'd be worth a lot of money, and I doubt it. Dang. That's a cool find. Man.
Not as cool as my uh, bull ring yesterday. Wow, that's really neat. All right, at least I got some jewelry. Yeah, you can hear how it sounds. But that is really cool. Still working this area over here and I'm getting a uh, nice two signal here. Whew, I'm tired. Whoa. All right, through the scoop. Look at this. Got a backing on it. Wow. That could be real. Look at that stone. Yeah, look at the markings. I can't read them, but I can definitely see markings on the back of this. Whoa. Billy finally did it for the day. If that's gold, I wonder what that stone is. Holy smokes. I am going to search for another one around here because it's got the backing. Someone might have set them down by the volleyball court. Unless they just dropped it on the way because I'll go walk over that opening right there. Or to the stairs right there. So I'm definitely going to search see if I can get lucky enough to find the second one. Dang. Okay, so I spent about 10 minutes searching this area for a second earring and no luck so far. I'm getting a higher number right here. Really jumpy. Look at that. Whew, I've gotten a lot of foil out of here. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Whoa. I think it's just bling, but look at this. Heart ring. Dang. Forget that being down in the wet, I wasn't finding nothing. I'm up here by the uh, volleyball course. I'm getting good stuff. I can't tell if it's real or not, but the coloring looks like it's just a blinger. But uh, I'll still check it out, but wow. Probably been out of shape too. It probably was closed. Maybe. Another awesome find. All right, getting a nice uh, 25 right here. It's probably a dime. Oh, look at this, right here. I'm gonna die him on the beach. All right, the first half of this video was the beach, and now I'm at the park. I'm gonna hit several parks for the second half, and uh, hopefully I get some good finds. Got my first signal at this park. Nine. Let's see what we start off with for the day. Okay. Um, part of some glasses. All right, that's kind of weird. I don't see anything else here. No lens, nothing. They must have uh, picked up whatever else they dropped and lost this piece. Huh. Okay, I'm getting a uh, faint signal here. Alright. There's something down here. Ooh. Shiny. Well, that's pretty. Wow. Don't think it's gold though. Who knows, I'll check it out a little closer, but that's a nice earring. Wow. I can't see without my glasses, whether it's got markings or not, but it's pretty shiny. I'm thinking bling, but maybe I'll get lucky. Nice little uh, 29 right here, by quarter. Yep, that was pretty simple. Not very deep at all. All right. Nice. Jumpy tone here. Let's see what we got. Oh, that's easy enough. No cash value. Got some right on the side. Huh. Hi guys. Two beaches and uh, about three or four parks in two days, so both morning hunts. Um, this was Doc Weiler, and it was a horrible beach to detect. I think I mentioned that. Um, between the airplanes flying overhead and 
the fact that you have fires constantly, the sand was really dirty and full of uh, a lot of this kind of stuff here. So I just kind of did it for about an hour and gave up and went to a different beach. But uh, plenty of bottle caps and pull tabs, lighter. I did get three tent stakes. That was a very successful day as far as tent stakes go. Um, about a dollar sixty and change. And as you can see, it's pretty tore up from the uh, dirty sand. And then I did get these two weird items. I thought that was a bullet at first. I'm not really sure what it is. And then this is just another piece of brass. It looked like a half of a large caliber bullet, but I'm not really sure. But anyway, I moved on and went to um, Manhattan Beach. Had much better luck. Let's start with this beautiful uh, car here, or truck, El Segundo Police truck. That's really cool. And then I did get a lot of uh, pull tabs and bottle caps as well. And then I got about, uh, I think, a little over $4. I think it's four ten and change. I got uh, a rainbow bead. One glorious tent stake. Little tiny carabiner. But then I scored this. That is a really cool bracelet. It is bling. Along with this weird looking earring here. It's wrapped with some type of uh, string or something. Got little beads in it. So it looks like it's homemade. And then I got this bling ring here, little green hearts. And then the uh, find of the both hunts, actually, all three hunts, is this. It is 14 karat. It's got the backing on it, which is also 14 karat. And uh, that's a August birthstone. And I haven't tested the diamonds yet. I'll do that um, at the end of the wrap up. And uh, it's a pretty cool find. I got very lucky with that one. I searched the area for the. Um, Another one, just in case they drop both of them, because it does have the backing on it. Maybe they set them down, or were sitting there watching uh, volleyball, and I was hoping to find the second one. Never did. And then um, I hit three parks, and I was doing pretty good. I got a uh, couple surface finds here, a little ABC thing, and a Nikon lens cover, which is pretty good shape. I'll clean that up. I do have a Nikon camera. I don't know if I need another lens cap, but I'll keep it few pull tabs and I also have about four dollars and 45 cents in change um I did find zipper pull bobby pin battery two different pieces of glasses the back to a car I got this coin that has no cash value and then um I found this heart key off camera then this tiny little cross and then this turned out to be bling it's pretty but it's just a bling uh, earring so that was it. Had a great time. Um, a lot of work, but uh, no complaints here. Any day out hunting is a good day. So uh, on to the next one, I guess. And don't forget, last Wednesday or Wednesday was our uh, giveaway announcement, and next Wednesday is going to be the drawing. So if you didn't uh, comment on last Wednesday's video, make sure you go over there and comment on it. I don't want you to miss out on the giveaway of a Lertone. Rock tumbler, which is what I use to tumble my coins to clean them up. So, thanks again for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one. All right, so here's that tiny little um, earring. These diamonds are so small, it's going to be hard to test them, but I'm going to see what I can do here. Oh, look at that. Awesome. So, definitely diamonds. Now what I want to do is actually test the gold. Let's see if I can get a little bit of rub on this. Gonna grab a spot. Just a little bit. Let me put the acid on here and then I'll hold it up so you can see it. Check that out. Right there at the bottom line there. That's 14 karat. And the acid does not dissolve the uh, gold, so that is a good uh, piece of gold.